episode of my favorite empowerment series, The Strategic Mind Show. I am the host with you in mind, Kimberly A. Ferguson. And yes, it is time for yet another information-packed episode. And I promise, this one will not disappoint. So as you know, we kicked off season two with a three-part special featuring Zara Green and Alfred Edmund Jr. Today is part three, but if you missed either interview or any of our previous episodes from season one, be sure to catch up at strategicminds.tv or on WBTVN and many of its partner platforms. Hey, and don't forget to like, comment, and share with your network. Zara D. Green and Alfred A. Edmund Jr. are the authors of Loving in the Grown Zone, a no-nonsense guide to making healthy decisions in the quest for loving romantic relationships of honor, esteem, and respect. They are also co-principals of A to Z Personal Growth Enterprises, producer of the Grown Zone Relationship Education Platform. The couple offers relationship education via private coaching online seminars, and workshops on self-love and resiliency, healthy relationships, and grown decision-making at live events across the country. Not only did I learn so much from these strategic minds, I just enjoyed talking to them. Let's take a look. So if you caught the last two episodes of the Strategic Mind Show, you met Zara Green and Alfred Edmund Jr. They are back with us today, and as you know, they are number one relationship experts. They are coaches, teachers, and they are here to talk to you about loving in the grown zone. Now, I had the opportunity to read Loving in the Grown Zone, and one of the things that I learned was that it's a testament to your belief that relationships, even if they're not perfect relationships, they need to be healthy relationships. So welcome back. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Glad to be here. So let's dive right in. I understand that you wrote the book around your own personal experiences. What made you write the book? It, it, was, it, it was our personal experiences as well as uh, all the, the obvious statistics about relationships and the things that just made absolute sense to us as to how we can approach relationships differently okay. um, and be honest about the relationships that we see and the influences of, of those that we've, the, the relationships that we've seen and, um, and just decided there's a better way. We know a better way. Right. And, uh, and if it ain't healthy, it ain't worth it. Right. So. So, so speaking for myself, um, there's three sources of uh, information that we've um, experienced <laughs> that became the, the kind of the, uh, the logic behind starting our company as well as writing the book. Mm -hmm. One was personal experience. Okay. Why were we taught certain things, and I'm speaking to someone who's twice divorced, where I thought I was doing it the right way mm -hmm. every time, and it turned out so horribly. Okay. So then it becomes, how do you look at what we're taught about relationships, how they're supposed to work, and, and whether they're delivering the outcomes that we're told they're supposed to deliver. The second was research and study. Okay. Um, you know, what was Zara talked about statistics, the off-sided 50% divorce rate, but the scarier statistic, in our opinion, that 80% of married couples who stay together, only 20% uh, of them have two happy partners. 80% mm. have at least one dissatisfied partner. So that makes it actually even scarier because it's not like the people who stay together are happier. Right. Um, and then there's, um, from my particular background as a business financial journalist, when you see a business, a career, or finances crumble, it's rarely because of a business, career, or financial decision. Just that as business journalists, we tend to report the outcomes. Okay. We don't necessarily report the behind the scenes story of the poor decision making that someone might have made in terms of who they married or the, the way they approached their love and sexual life and how that impacted their ability to focus on their career or their business. Wow. Or the, the $100,000 that a typical failed marriage cycle will cost each partner. Wow. Um, so, so I come at it from a standpoint of not only of the kind of the hearts and the hurt feelings. No, <laughs> there are business, career, and financial consequences mm -hmm. to how you manage your relationship decision making. Because the reality is most people marry based on attractors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me more. 
marry based on all the things that it, when you ask somebody, what do you want in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Then they will run you down a list of attractors that they need to not, you know, that they need to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. They need to make a certain amount of money. They need to have a certain degree. They need to uh, be affiliated with some kind of church, something or another. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you, you meet, uh, I mean, uh, meet, meet the average Christian woman, and she say, "Oh, he got to be God fearing, babe." Well, divorce is as high in the church as it is anywhere else. Mm. So we've got to be smarter about the qualifiers mm. in, our, in, in our relationships. It's not just about attractors, it's about sustainers. And unless and until we really get value-based in our relationships right. and, um, and, have, and have some, some real standards for our own treatment, then it's going to continue. So the difference between attractors and sustainers. Okay. Attractors are natural. Yes, there are going to be certain th people you're attracted to because of the way they look. Sometimes they're going to be a, an initial sexual spark. You'll be attracted because of, you know, at least your perceived um, belief about what the sexual experience would be with that person. Right. So sexual attraction is a legitimate attractor. Appearance is a legitimate attractor. Um, money, or, or at least some degree of financial means, is a legitimate attractor. Mm -hmm. Those are three. We talked about shared religious belief, status, education. The challenge with that is that all of those things are subject to change over time. Attractors don't sustain. No matter how fine you are at 35, you're not going to look quite that way at 65. That's why I do CrossFit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so those things, they're legitimate to draw people together. They're not enough to sustain relationships. Relationship sustainers are things like fidelity, loyalty, safety. Am I safe with this person? Is it trust? Am I, can I trust this person? Can we share with joy everything. together with everything? Can I be myself in all that I am and know this person is going to accept me unconditionally? Absolutely. When you look at healthy Acceptance. relationships that last for decades um, through everything from illnesses to injury to lost jobs to because all those things, you know, money gets funny. <laughs> you know, there'll be a time where there's temporarily a permanent where a, a, a super energized sex life is just not part of the equation. Mm -hmm. But you still want to look at that person and say, I'd rather be with you than be with anyone else. Unfortunately, we're taught by fairy tales, um, in church, by our parents, by our peers. All the things we're told to trust. Right. It's built on the attractors mm -hmm. that by their very nature are going to change and in some cases go away over time. And when those attractors disappear, relationships crumble. Sustainers, if you're a trustworthy person today, the likelihood of you turning to an untrustworthy person 20 years from now is extremely low. Mm. Sustainers go to the core of who you are, where attractors are about what you are. What you are will change over time. Who you are tends not to. So we teach people, you want to identify the sustainers in a person, in yourself and others, as a way to decide. Is that a fa that's the foundation you can build a relationship on. A marriage is a house. Mm. The relationship is the foundation. Absolutely. Mm. We build mansions on sand. Healthy in our society, which is why people get divorced. Wow. And so in their book, they cover what love is. You talk about what grown is, <laughs> what, what yes. someone yes. who's grown yes. really looks like, the difference between adult decisions, no, adult choices and grown, grown decisions. decisions. Yeah. Uh, so with that, you also include some principles. You include he healthy principles. Can you give a couple? Don't give it all away because they need to get the book. <laughs> But yeah, we couldn't give them all away <laughs> in this moment anyway. But um, give, give some principles. If you could each give me one, one that, that you'd like to share, maybe your favorite. A, a, one of the grown zone principles is that you can never, not, uh, somebody else can never love or value you beyond that which you do yourself. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it's, it's always about self-love. That's the real foundation. That's the real foundation okay. of a healthy relationship. So... People are uh, always looking for their other, or their, their other half, they say. Okay. Well, if you're not a whole, complete mm. person all by yourself, then, uh, then two, ha two, two halves don't make a whole. Uh, two holes make a, a, make, will, will help, to ha help you to have a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. Make a partnership. If that's, that's what mm -hmm. partnerships are created out of two whole people, mm -hmm. not a half person looking for a half Right, right, not, that, right. That doesn't create wholeness. So, so that's that's one of them. Okay. That you, nobody nobody else will ever love you beyond that which you have already established okay. for yourself. Good. Can't and won't happen. 
My favorite one, and it's, it's the one we, we really emphasize, it's one of the foundational ways you have to approach relationships, is the four things you don't surrender mm. to get Ooh. or keep a relationship. Come on. Access to your body, mm -hmm. access to your money, access to your home, and access to your heart. Because those are the four principal ways that you bond with another person. Right. In fact, when someone has access to all four of those things, you are, in fact, married without benefit of marriage. Some of the messiest breakups are not divorces. It's people who have bonded in those four ways, mm -hmm. and then they break up even though they haven't married. But there's not even a divorce court with laws and rules to decide how things are supposed to be split up. Okay. Watch any, you know, we like to watch what we call <laughs> Mayhem TV. Mayhem TV. <laughs> so we watch Paternity Court, we watch Judge Judy, or the, or the worst cases, we look, watch Fatal Attraction and who, who the bleep did I marry, where some people end up dead right. as a result, because you're bonding prematurely before you know who a person is. So we tell people there are things, in fact, we have an a, a e-book called 13 Things You Should Know Before You Give Access to Your Body, Your Money, Your Heart, or Your Home, mm -hmm. because if you don't know these 13 things, you don't know that person well enough to person. give them the access. So prematurely exposing yourself before really getting to know that person is a chief, ca chief cause of a lot of mayhem in people's lives, whether you're talking about um, you know, fatherless sons and daddyless daughters, or worse, sexual abuse, domestic violence, financial violence, which is a, which is a major thing. 98% uh, of domestic abuse cases include some form of financial violence. There's a strong correlation. So, our book is like a, we tell people you, you have to read a driver's manual before you can learn how to drive. This is a lover's manual so you can learn to love safely. Well, and, and it's, to, it's so that you can unlearn all the mess. Oh, yeah. I mean, society is an is, is a, a, a open faucet of junk that it's feeding us constantly about what we're supposed to be doing with our lives and with our bodies. You know, with our body, with our money, with our heart, and with our home. And, it's, uh, and, and when I say society, then, then that includes those trusted institutions too. Just take that, something like fairy tales, which uh, do a, a tremendous disservice to girls because you're taught that some dude is gonna like, come in on a horse and rescue you. That he's going to give you everything you want. Conditioning your job a is woman to, just, to believe that. You know, surrender everything to him, and he, your prince will come and rescue you. And, there, and, and that creates a, a whole set of expectations ranging from whether you actually pursue your own career in education mm -hmm. to whether you're actually able to economically provide for yourself. Um, not to mention what you let the so called prince get away with in the name of trying to make him into the person that you want him to be. Right. So these are, they're, they're not meant to be. Uh, uh, they're not trying to destroy you necessarily. It is not, uh, 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 I wouldn't right. call it a conspiracy theory. <laughs> right. But we're taught a lot of things that just don't hold up to actual scrutiny when it comes to what happens when you actually follow that advice. Okay. Um, and, and our book is, is, is an approach that says, let's look at what really works and what doesn't work and why, so that you can make self-loving decisions and have the kind of relationships that you really want and deserve. Nice. And to hear something other than what, what, uh, what, what traditional um, stuff that's taught, you know, okay. well, whatever, whatever the medium has been, whether it's been in a home or, you know, billboards or movies or right. any or of that. Or popular culture, like yeah, yeah. when a certain so, person says the best way to get over one person is get under another. Don't do that. I'm not going to say their name. Right here. <laughs> so we're going to rewind just a little bit. <laughs> uh, um, you mentioned your ebook. Mm -hmm. uh, that's on grownzone.com. They can download that right is that there? The, the it e is right now. Okay. Yes. Um, we I, actually I have a new them, ebook coming but, out. Okay. So tell us. Tell us. This about is it. one that's focused particularly on the business and financial consequences of poor relationship choices. Okay. So it's called "Buy Love, uh, Get Troubles, Sell Love, Get Screwed," okay. and it's a whole series of, of chapters on why business people, entrepreneurs, high-income professionals, in particular, need to have a framework of decision making for how they pursue their, their um, relationships. Okay. Either because it can sabotage what you've already built mm -hmm. and bring it down, or it could, could sabotage your ability to build it in the first place. Um, and so that, that's the new ebook we have coming out, and you'll be able to get that. At, so, so one of the things that, that, I, that I hope is, is resonating is, when we talk about uh, poor relationship choices, mm -hmm. well, you, can't, you could be a poor relationship choice. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. you so there are, just because you got money, just because you got status, just because you've got, you know, all the things society says makes you a good catch, 
does not mean you have all those sustaining qualities. Right. So, right. You, so, so I, what, what I want to make sure that people get is that all those things don't make somebody a good mate. Mm. That when, when we talk about um, uh, making poor choices, you have to first go back to some personal growth to make sure that you are a, a, a good choice yourself. Right. So you can make, if you're making poor choices, it's probably because you, there's some areas in your life that need some expanding. You need to grow. For example, one of the vulnerabilities of really successful business people mm -hmm. is that they become oriented toward attractors. Absolutely. In other words, if I'm a successful female executive, I think I gotta have a baller with me. He may be a totally unsuitable mate, but he looks the part in right. casting for a role. If I'm a, if I'm a mm -hmm. right, okay. casting mm -hmm. for a role. If I'm a, a pro athlete, I may think I really need to have a model chick on my arm mm -hmm. because she has the look and she has all that, that, that I want, but she's not really suitable as a partner. You become biased toward attractors. And what happens when you become biased toward attractors, people that want to take advantage of you already know what you're looking for. They can pretend to be exactly what they need to be to ingratiate themselves into your life, mm -hmm. into your money, into your business, and undermine everything. Wow. But sustainers take time to establish. There's no way somebody instantly walk into your life and you say, oh, that person has the sustainers. Mm -hmm. So if you go for attractors, anybody can fake the funk. Anybody can, eat or, buy, or buy the look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that they you, need know to have you, a, you need to have a way of vetting. Exactly. Yes. As if my wife says, have, sifting and sorting. That's, that, that, that's <laughs> our job. Sift and sort. That's, that's, that's our job. Mm -hmm. And if you, don't, um, if, if you don't know what should what goes through, mm -hmm. then anything could end up mm -hmm. in there. And if you don't have any qualifications, anybody can get the job. And in too many cases, anybody does. <laughs> Unfortunately. So I came right out the gate asking you about the book. But now, especially with what you've just shared, Let's talk about the Grown Zone and what you do through your company. What do you do as far as coaching? And here's my question. Who are your clients? Same as, yeah. uh, well, um, with, with, my, with my business, mm -hmm. and, it, we, and we talked about this, mm -hmm. it's professionals, okay. um, high levels, and, uh, and people who have things to lose. Mm -hmm. Yep, so high achieving entrepreneurs, professionals, executives, in some cases, um, athletes, okay. people who are on a trajectory of high earning, high visibility, so it's not just money, it's reputation, yeah. um, who either has, have already lost, mm -hmm. they kind of fall into two buckets. Maybe there's a group that already has a divorce or puts a series of bad relationships under their belt, and they paid a high price both emotionally and financially for those choices, and they don't want to repeat them. Okay. Um, we actually have a, even a, uh, a, just an enthusiastic audience among high-achieving millennials who are looking around maybe at their parents, maybe at some of their older peers, and saying there's got to be a better way. And if we catch them early, if they discover the grown zone, they will um, enroll in, in our courses, seminars, coaching, to try to avoid certain mistakes as they move forward into their higher earning years. Okay. And we also are now getting interest. We did a Twitter chat for Wells Fargo, as a matter of fact, on love and home ownership. Because now corporations, and especially in the financial services industry, look to us because we can say things and ask questions that either for compliance reasons or for their own corporate rules and regulations, they can't ask. Okay. If they see a couple about to buy a home and on paper they can qualify, but they can obviously look and see this is not a healthy relationship, this is not, this is they not can't go, go say anything. Us. So we can, right. whether we do it as an internal workshop, as whether we do it as, as preparing their executives for promotion. Okay or whether we do it in a larger group setting where they can say, listen, somebody needs to tell them they need to get this act together or they're gonna get that mortgage foreclosed on mm -hmm. in five years when they have this real disaster of a relationship and it impacts their ability to sustain the marriage. Wow, wow. <laughs> so with the grown zone, how, how can someone get in touch with you? So if someone wanted to attend the seminars, if someone wanted to receive coaching, how, how do they go about doing that? Now, I, it, it is true. If you go to our website, mm -hmm. you won't see any of these things offered. Okay. Because it, our, our stuff is not a come, y'all. Okay. It's not. Mm -hmm. People have to uh, apply. Mm. Yes. They apply. We have conversation. 
and, and we see if they are a match, if we okay. can help them, if they are teachable, if they are receptive, if they are our ideal client. Okay. If they're not our ideal client, we get to say, wish you well. But if you go to grownzone.com open house, mm -hmm. grownzone.com forward slash open house, that's a way that you can uh, that's a start apply for a, a, a high impact conversation with either of us to look at what are your challenges and how can we help you. Um, also, if you go to our website, you can get, what's the current ebook that's there? I think um, it's, it, it is the, 13, the 13 things that yeah, you need to know days. before you give access to your body, your home, your heart, or your money. Um, and the, so the best thing to do is to get on our mailing list. And of course, we update you on everything from webinars, seminars, what live events we're going to be doing, when new ebooks are coming out, when new book books are coming out. That's the best way to stay, stay really engaged and involved. Great. Well, this was incredible. You, again, have shared amazing tips for the audience. And I thank you for joining us again. Thank and, you for having us. <laughs> yeah. And again, in all you do, continue to be strategic. Thank, thank you so you. much. So, Alfred and Zara have a gift for you. It's an ebook called 13 Things You Should Know Before You Open Your Legs, Checkbook, Heart, or Home. Simply go to their site, any page, and you'll find it in the sidebar. That's grownzone.com. Here at the Strategic Mind Show, we want you to be happy and successful in all areas of your life, and this includes health and wellness. That's why we invited Dr. Verma of Synergistic Integrative Health to share a little bit about how she helps patients in the areas of weight loss and wellness. Located in Clearwater, Florida, Dr. Verma is double board certified in family medicine and integrative holistic medicine. She graduated with honors from the College of New Jersey and is a graduate of Rutgers Medical School. She has always harbored a passion for healthy and happy living and instills those same personal values in her patients. Listen as she speaks of detoxing and weight loss. One of the main issues I see here at Synergistic Health with patients are things concerning diet, weight loss, and nutrition. In America, we have many issues with the standard diet. We are overfed and undernourished, and people have issues with chronic obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. One of the many topics that I address is gut health. Because of our poor diet, we've affected our health and caused many of the chronic inflammation and disease processes. I sit down with the patient and we go through in-depth lab testing and I address everything from the types of foods that they eat to the types of drinks they're consuming to their daily habits and we together create a plan that's going to help modify and get them on a journey to wellness. Weight loss and detox are two important topics that I discuss with the patient. Everyone is concerned about losing weight and many people come frustrated because they feel like no matter what diet they use or how much they exercise they can't shed the pounds. I don't believe in fad diets, and I don't believe in quick weight loss. What I like to tailor make for the patient is something that's sustainable and that they can carry on throughout their life. I address concerns that have been going on for many years by looking at tests that are very in-depth and that they've never had done before. We address inflammatory markers, genetics, we do gut health assessment. When I get the results back, I sit down with the patient and we can go over things in-depth and understand and create a plan specific to their needs. This often sets them up for success down the road. If you're looking to detox and lose weight, come to Synergistic Integrative Health because we can help you do it in a healthy and happier way. For more information on Dr. Verma and Synergistic Integrative Health, visit www.synergistichealth.com. Wow, I hate to close out this episode. I am enjoying myself. Listen, if you'd like to stay connected with us, visit strategicminds.tv to find out how. You can also download the Women on TV app to watch this show and other WBTVN broadcasts. And visit our page on WBTVN to participate in our online chat and more. Want to know what I'm up to? Visit me online. Kimberly A. Ferguson, the host with you in mind, at kfergspeaks.com or follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter at kfergspeaks. We thank you for watching and in all you do, be strategic. Mm -hmm.